So, so much in the news in sports about conference realignment. You've got, you know, USC, UCLA moving to the Big Ten. And then more recently, Oregon, Washington making their way to the Big Ten. Arizona State to the Big 12. And so many questions on what does this actually mean for the sport of wrestling? And there is pretty significant impact on the sport. Not as large or impactful as, as we're seeing in the sport of football, of course. But um, there is going to be a pretty significant impact. So we'll, I'm going to kind of get into that. A lot of the common questions that are kind of creeping up as a result of all the conference realignment. So first things first, um, this is great for the Big 12 because you're adding another, call it what it is, Arizona State at this point is a national power. They won a trophy in 2021, a trophy in 2022. Zeke Jones and company are not done recruiting and developing high, high level wrestlers. And now you've got a, a team of that caliber moving into the Big 12, which just added Missouri a couple years ago. So now you've got Missouri back in. They're a national power, have been for years. you got Oklahoma State, a perennial power, along with a host of other really, really tough teams. You've got, of course, an emerging South Dakota State, North Dakota State, Oklahoma. Uh, we'll look to get things going under Coach Kish. Northern Iowa, uh, another really strong program. So now we, we've got the Big 12 is slowly building. And it's, it's funny to see the growth in the Big 12. I remember... the not it was not that long ago the big 12 had in wrestling had four teams right and for many years it was just five it was iowa state nebraska oklahoma oklahoma state and, and missouri and then when nebraska went to the big 10 there was a period of time where there were just four and it's like man this is not ideal for a conference those those teams were really strong at that point in time but they didn't have that depth but now what we're seeing with the big 12 is not only do they have some really high level teams with with arizona state Missouri, Oklahoma State, et cetera. Uh, now you've got this incredible depth of, of, of teams where you, they, they're up to, I think, 14 teams now and could add more. You never know because I'll uh, get to the next thing. The Pac-12 looks to be, I don't know if the word's dissolving, but if, if, if Stanford ends up going to the ACC, which I'll get to in a moment, there's not many. There, Oregon State would be the only member institute that has a wrestling program remaining. So you've got Oregon State, you've got Cal Baptist, Cal Poly, Cal Bakersfield, and randomly Arkansas Little Rock that are all Pac-12 teams. What happens with them? Does the Big 12 continue to add and, and absorb a couple more teams and, and get to a full 16, 18, 20 team roster? I don't know. I think that could be an option. Would Oregon State, which because they're not going to join the Big 12, they're not going to join the ACC, Big 10, anything like that. They look like they may be heading to the Mountain West. If so, do they end up absorbing some of those California teams? Do they go and get, um, you know, Wyoming and Air Force and some of those teams from the Big 12? Those, those are all options. And that's largely speculation, right, at, at this point in time. We don't really know. But Oregon State is, is an interesting domino. We don't know exactly where they're going to land. I already alluded to Stanford's move. Now, they're, they're like, um, they're linked with Cal Berkeley. And wherever one team goes, the, it's thought that the other team will go where they could remain independent. They could go to ACC, Big Ten, or, or some other combination of it. But it sounds like they could be in the ACC, which, of course, the A stands for Atlantic. And this is we're talking about two California teams. But at this point in time, you know, you, you throw out those the, the regional aspects, you know, West Virginia's in the Big 12. And you've got um, all kinds of teams that don't really align with the traditional conference geography and so that's all kind of out the window anyways at this point so stanford could be going into the acc which we had rob cole on on frl and he's like listen that'd be great for us that's a that's a great conference um you know we we would increase you know our conference profile by joining the acc in wrestling and um i i think it's a good fit for for stanford academically athletically it's it's good so i think that's going to go there now a lot uh, one of the questions we're having is like wait when is, is this next year it's not next year. It's the year after next. So it'll be the 24-25 season will be the first year of kind of the switching. So next year, Arizona State's still going to be in the Big 12 or Pac-12, excuse me. Stanford's still in the Pac-12, et cetera, et cetera. But eventually, we're going to have a lot of these, these changes happening. And, and the dust is still settling. We still don't have finality with Stanford or, or Oregon State or what's going to happen with the remaining Pac-12s. And that'll that'll happen over the coming you know, months and maybe years since there is a little bit of time. Um, one common question, and, and maybe I'll even say a misconception that's sort of held in the wrestling community is that this notion that big, all big 10 member institutions have to have wrestling. And this sort of got to be, you know, believed because 
it is true that every Big Ten team does have the sport of wrestling. So it's thought it was a mandated thing. It's not mandated. So all these new teams that are adding, you're like, well, wait, are you at USC, UCLA, um, Oregon, Washington, are they going to potentially add wrestling? The, the, the quick answer to that is no. Um, the best answer I can give is that it's extremely unlikely. Um, but there's, there's no dollar that these institutions get that they're not pumping right back into football when it, as far as athletics are concerned. And that'll absolutely be the case for US, USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington. So it is a long, long, long shot that any of these teams would add, though um, nothing wrong with having a, a little bit of hope. Now, there are maybe some negative uh, impacts for the sport of wrestling with this Big Ten change because you're adding in some major media markets with the L.A. market, with USC, UCLA, Oregon, Washington, big fan bases, okay? And we have enjoyed over the last, I think I would say probably two seasons, an absolutely increased presence of dual meets on the Big Ten Network, the, the linear channel. Now, I, I, I think it would be fair to assume that with all these teams and the sports and the rabid fan bases for basketball, is there going to be as much time afforded for those big duels? You know, I'm not sure. Does wrestling have to get creative in their scheduling to, to get that Big Ten program? These will be problems that they'll have time to, to, to work around, but I think it, it's a fair assumption to say that once these teams are added into the Big Ten, we may see a, a, a variation of the Big Ten wrestling schedule on TV. So, could be a potential negative there, but we don't know the exact um, situation as it as it stands at this point in time. But remain hopeful that wrestling will get more and more exposure, and the Big Ten Network has been a big part of that. Um, final note here is there was some question or some thought, like there was some jockeying for the number two overall conference in the sport of wrestling. And, you know, ACC has this, like, really high-end top tier, whereas Big 12 had all this depth. And now I feel like with the addition of, of Arizona State into the mix, they're the clear number two conference in America. And, and maybe they were always, but now it's just established with, with this many national powers, with this level of depth. The Big 12 conference, hands down, uh, is going to be the number two conference. Of course, every other conference is looking up at the Big Ten. It is the gold standard um, in all of wrestling. But the Big 12 is the big winner right now for all this conference re realignment. But... There could be more changes in the next coming months.